what person hasn't seen the mini guides and the videos that talk about making as much as 25,000, 50,000 gold per month on one server by buying and selling in the auction house with the assistance of a scanner to tell you uh, when an, an item is a good buy and what you can resell it at. We've all been exposed to that. And uh, there's a lot of hype about it. And uh, some of it's true. I have a roommate who's made as much as ten to 15000 a month in his spare time. He uh, would check out the auction house maybe three times a day, spend 45 minutes each time. That's not a bad return. Uh, there is a downside to this, though, and it's something that the hype doesn't tell you about. It's something that none of these guides um, warn you about or give you the solution to. And the downside is that you're going to lose a lot of money. He was uh, making a lot of money, but he was also losing uh, between 500 and 1,000 gold each week. And uh, he was unaware that those losses didn't need to occur until I told him something. And now I'm going to share that with you. It changed his business around. It can change yours around as well and drastically increase your profitability by uh, generally pr protecting you from all losses whatsoever in the auction house. So this utility is very powerful and uh, it's cheap too. WowEcon.com costs four dollars per month and uh, the website has an add-on that collects information from people that are using the auction house. It collects the uh, prices of items that you list and then when you go to the mailbox to uh, get items back that didn't sell and collect the money from the ones that did it records that information and uh, WowEcon.com is the only utility that tracks success and specifically tracks success from a user base of thousands of gamers. How is that for accurate? If you um, load up the website uh, there's two ways uh, that you can uh, gather information uh, the first is to visit the website directly uh, you can type in the name of an item and uh, also uh, the information is very uh, specific which is another valuable tool it's server specific and faction specific since prices vary according to faction sometimes and um, After you uh, type in this information and your parameters, you'll be given a graph. And what's really powerful is that you control the graph and uh, you can see uh, the prices that things have been listed at, but most importantly, the prices that that item successfully sold at. And that gives you a selling range. You can even see uh, how long it took someone to sell an item, sometimes in order to get as much money as possible it's necessary to list an item for as long as three days but if you know that you can get that much for it why not that's more profit for you right it's important to know that uh, and realize that you can adjust the uh, parameters of the graphs that you see at wowecon.com you can uh, for instance, bring up a seven day history, a 14 day history, or a month long history for your item. If you don't see that item on your server for a month long duration, some items are that rare, what you need to do is bring up uh, the same item but on similar servers and uh, what you need to make similar is uh, similar population and similar age because older servers are going to have more high-level characters that are distributing high-level uh, goods on the auction house. It's a simple supply and demand equation. Uh, the second way that uh, WowEcon gives you information 
is uh, in game and uh, the information pops up almost exactly like any of the uh, popular auction house scanners uh, the information that you see in game isn't as accurate because it takes all the information of that month-long chart and it condenses it into a few um, prices like uh, median price high low and uh, if you want to be truly effective and e as efficient as possible especially on the rare items you need to uh, bring up the chart. It only takes a minute or two.